Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about an important new update that's come from QuickBooks overnight, especially if you're reporting on a cash basis, then this video is going to be an absolute godsend to your ears. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts. I told him I would do it all for you. And I know you do it for me. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo and also that QuickBooks chat. Now, one of the things that can be a little bit frustrating with QuickBooks from time to time, that if you are VAT registered and report on cash basis, then being able to reconcile your VAT return has always been a little bit tricky. Then being able to reconcile your VAT control account and suspense account has always been that little bit tricky. You've always had to use manual calculations to be able to figure it out and to be able to see how much VAT you still have left over on your debtors and creditors. Well, not no more. As of last night, QuickBooks has released an update which makes this so much easier for us. And I can assure you it's one of the best updates that's come through from QuickBooks for a very long time. Now, don't take my word for it. Let's have a look straight in there and see how wonderful this solution is. All right, then let's get ourselves into QuickBooks. So in QuickBooks, we are now on this particular client. I'm just going to jump into my taxes jump to VAT edit VAT edit settings and I'm going to move from standard to cash accounting to show how it needed now I'll be completely honest with you it doesn't matter if you're on standard or cash for this particular update to account for it's just that way you're going to see it in more of a useful manner so what's changed well now if I go to the reports I'm just going to do account receivable agent detail I'm going to leave everything outstanding there at the moment we have all this as my open balance and my amount and as you can see for this particular one I've actually had a payment already of four thousand pound leave me with still 800 still to go now previously when it came to doing my VAT return or at least reconciling my VAT account and you know on this channel we always talk about how we should reconcile our VAT control VAT suspense then I would have to take this data that we've got shown here and I'd have to manually work out how much that is still left over because if you look at it again the amount of that that I've still got to pay over is all going to be dependent on how much money I still have left over so it's going to be a proportion of the 800 pound versus the 4,800 these two it's not as critical because I've not paid any of these off so these two are going to be fully outstanding but I still need to figure out how much that's going to be the complicated bit though is when you had a part payment or when you had an invoice that had not just standard rated VAT, but other versions of VAT as well, it started to get really, really complicated. And the way we would have to do it in our practice is we would have to take individual transactions, work them out, try and find how much VAT is and try and work it back from there. Not no more. Have a look at this. QuickBooks Overnight has added a brand new feature. So if I go to the customize button, so we're going to use this change columns button just here. We're going to scroll down and towards the very bottom is outstanding tax amount, which I've been informed is going to be outstanding VAT amount later down the line. But for now, outstanding tax or if it's been up updated, outstanding VAT. Either way, we're going to choose to put a tick into that box. We're going to press run report and look at the magic that arrives. That's showing £133.33 left on this invoice. £6,030 left on this invoice. Why does that matter? Well, that's the amount of VAT that's still left over that when I'm going to reconcile my control account, I still need to account for that because that's never appeared on a VAT return. And we can interact with this as well. So I just duplicate tab so we can run that report one more time. And I make a payment against one of those. And let's say that I have paid off half of it or just over half. So at the moment, I've got just over £6,000 £6, left over of VAT. But if I've already received £15,000 of it, and I'm going to put it as at today's date for now, we'll see how that goes, and I'm going to do save and close, then I expect that when I run report, as you can see, it's now dropped 3500 But that's off today's date. If I was to move this back one day, run report 
that goes up and the VAT or tax goes on with it. How cool is that? And more importantly, how useful is that? It seems like a small change, but it's a huge change. This gives us confidence that whatever VAT we've still left over in our trade debtors and trade creditors reports can now be accounted for to the penny. And there it is. What a brilliant addition. And this is gonna be something that's been cried out for a long time, and it's gonna be something that's so useful to accountants and clients alike. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and all that jazz and comment down below. Is this something you've been waiting for or is this something that, you know, didn't even know was an issue within QuickBooks? My name's been Aaron Patrick. It's been an absolute pleasure as always to do this video for you and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks Chat, Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.